Hey, Sunny Kids! Welcome back. We are so glad to be back with you and connecting with you online. We are. But before we get into anything too hectic, we're going to worship. Mm -hmm. So get up off the couch, move the furniture out the way. Let's praise Jesus together.
love worshiping with you guys, even when we aren't in the same we room. We do. Um, today I'm with Juliette, who's one of our legendary City Kids leaders. It's true, she is. <laughs> My name is Nikita. Um, today we are carrying on with our series called Lead and Follow. We are on week two. Mm -hmm. We are. Mm -hmm. And this week, our lesson is all about following a good, being a good example. Mm -hmm. Last week was following a good example. This week is being a good example. Yes. And shining your light for the whole world to see. The whole world. If you've got the gospel and, and you know it, you don't want to hide that from people. Mm -hmm. You want to show that to people. You want to be a good example and yes. shine your light. And by doing that, you're going to show God's children his love. Exactly, Juliet. This morning, I brought in two lights. Um, if you have a look at them, one is bright and one is not so bright. Can you imagine if I had to go find people who were lost in the dark? So Juliet, if we were trying to find people in the dark, we would not use this light. It is far too dim and covered. You can barely see any light. I think we would have to use this light. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Much better. That uh -huh. one is very bright. I know. Juliet, these lights remind me of a story in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, where Jesus told his disciples to live your life and let your light shine before others so that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. When we live to let our light shine for all the world to see, it kind of reminds me of this bright light. We want to be a bright light so that people can always see us. But if we are a dim light, it doesn't really work very well. It's very covered up. Not many people will be able to see. If this was in the dark and this was in the dark, which one would you see? Which we already discussed. You would see this one. So that's why the Bible says, let your light shine and be like this city on a hill where everyone can see you properly. Definitely, this light is way better. I agree. But now what we're gonna do is get into our message video so we can hear a little bit more about this. <laughs> Just kidding, that wasn't him, that was me! Because he has space mute, meaning he can't talk. Actually, most of the crew now has space mute. And I'm the only one left. <laughs> well, luckily it's time to rehearse the verse. And today's verse is found in the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 12. Say it like this, 1 Timothy 4, 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. Now, I'm gonna say it and you're gonna repeat after me and I'm gonna voice Luke, okay? Awesome, ready? 1 Timothy 4.12 1 Timothy 4.12 Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers. Set an example for the believers. In what you say and in how you live. In what you say and how you live. Good job. You guys did a great job. And Mike, you're so amazing. 
You've done so many good things. You run so fast. <laughs> well, today we're going to be talking about setting an example. And what better example than Jesus Christ? We're going to be learning about examples and Good afternoon, Alyssa. Alyssa, is everything all right? You seem out of sorts. Is something wrong with your neck? Is that why you are not speaking? I shall scan you to try and locate the issue. It appears you have contracted a condition known informally as Space Mute. This is why you are unable to speak. I shall order a shipment of Space Mute spray to remedy this illness. Order some for the merry-go-round? There is no merry-go-round aboard the station. Is the whole crew infected? I shall order some for all of you. I have sent an order for medicine for the four of you. It shall arrive in approximately half an hour. In the meantime, good afternoon, Captain. I am sorry to hear you have contracted Space Mute as well. It would appear that Ray wants you to go see something, Alyssa. You would like me to speak for you? You wish for me to be an interpreter for the merry-go... Oh, whole crew. I will see what I can do. Ray has tasked me to act as interpreter for the crew as they go about their duties. There are several artificial intelligences whose entire job is to interpret human speech, and even they make mistakes. I wonder how good I will be at it. Ray, please hand Mike an ice cream cone. Mike, did you mean to ask for an ice cream cone? No, the space wrench. Urgency. Ray, if Mike does not repair this electrical fault, it could cut power to the lights in the station. Luke would not like that. Ray, please hand Mike the hippopotamus. Mike, you seem out of sorts. Mike, Ray knows you are upset, but you need to remember that you are setting a sample. Example? You are setting an example like Jesus and leading like Him. Ray, 
Can you please hand Mike the superconductor? This scenario reminds me of a teaching Jesus gave in the book of Matthew. Excuse me for a moment. Yes, this is it. I shall watch this to refresh my memory circuits. This is a 66 picks mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's a life of God's the heart in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Let us blow up all the pages, let this show go live. Let us world explode from this video into your life. Jesus was preaching on a mountainside to tell the people how to live the way God made us to live. And this teaching isn't just for those people that day, it's for all people, even today. He said if they had God's Spirit inside them and lived a life filled with God's love like Jesus did, we'd have something powerful inside of us that can help others see the way to God. If someone builds a city on a hill, is that because they want it to be hidden so no one can find it? Of course not. It's up high in plain sight so those who are lost can see where to go. When God's people live like Jesus, we can be like that city on a hill, showing people the way to God's love and forgiveness. If someone has some salt, would they keep it in the jar until it loses its flavor? No! They would sprinkle it on food that needed some flavor. Jesus said we can be like salt and add flavor to the world by living a life like Jesus. If someone has a light, would you cover it up with a bowl? No way! They would hold it up high so it could shine as much light as possible. We have a bright light inside of us, our new life in Jesus Christ. We are made bright and new on the inside. When you choose to follow Jesus, it's the best news in the world. Do you keep something that big a secret? Of course not. You see, Jesus can fill you up with love, joy, and peace, and all good things. When you let those things shine in your life, other people will see it and want it in their life but they can't see it if you don't show it. So let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Here's a song you might already know that helps us understand what Jesus has to do with us. To make it fun, hold up your finger to be a candle. That will represent the light of God's spirit inside of us.
Valuable things are not meant to be hidden. Salt should not be packed away, and light should not be covered. Both of these things should be shared and used for their full value, rather than go to waste. Shining a light means showing God's love to everyone by setting a good example. This is precisely what Ray was doing for Mike's anger. But what does this mean for everyone else? Hmm, more data needed. Go over the point. Yes, perhaps that will help. Say it with me, friends, in three, two, one. My choices are an example for others. Very good. Normally the crew would need to discover this point, but perhaps they already know it. You need to ride a merry-go-round? Mike, that does not make any sense. Alyssa, everything will be okay. Mike was trying to say, you need to go on to a merry-go-round. Squirrel, uh, I see. Alyssa, you must rotate to get loose. Perhaps it is time for the Robot Dance of Joy. If you will excuse me, I will dance with you some other time. I need to process something. Ray remained calm to help guide Mike through his frustration. Then Mike, who has evidently learned from that experience, helped guide Alyssa through her fear by reassuring her that she was going to be okay. They seem to be setting a good example, just like in today's verse. And today's verse is found in the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 12. Say it like this, 1 Timothy 4, 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. Ray and then Mike were setting an example as this verse describes. But that is not all they were doing. In both cases, they were shining a light, like in the Bible story. When humans do this, their lives taste good to others, as salt tastes good on food, so I am told. More importantly, the crew are setting examples for each other intentionally. Therefore, it is important that they know today's point. My choices are an example for others. Yes, it all computes now. The crew knows this and are doing it on purpose. I shall now ask and verify. Ray, Mike, today's point is this. My choices are an example for others. Judging from your behavior today, you already knew this and were acting upon it. Is this true? I have some good news. The space mute spray will arrive in approximately three, two, one. Better. 
la 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 la. I can talk again. I can sing again. That's great. Mine seemed to put a frog in my throat. I am happy that you can now once again speak. I shall now return to my normal duties and fix the outer rift panel. Oh, but first, it seems I must recharge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it changed my voice again. Oh. <laughs> we need to get this to Luke. Yes. Oh. I need Today's episode is brought to you in part by Mute Spray. Oh. Oh. Oh, thanks, pal. I know it's terrible tasting, but I'm trying to set an example, like it says in today's point. And since we have our voices back, let's say the point together. My choices, choices are an example for others. Awesome. And like it says in today's verse, no matter how old you are, young or old, we can all be an example to other believers. Let's say the verse together. 1 Timothy 4, 12. Don't, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. Oh, can I get a word in now because my voice is back? No, you stay quiet. This week, let's practice staying closer to God by praying and Bible reading because that helps you be the good example that you need to set because you never know who's watching and following. Today I learned that the crew were leading each other by example because they knew my choices are an example for others. They were also able to do this by following Jesus' perfect example since he is the leader of their lives. If you want to make Jesus the leader of your life, just remember A, B, C. A, admit. Admit that you have done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, Tell others that God is your leader and your number one friend. What a super great lesson. I so enjoyed that. Too. Mm -hmm. That brings us to an end and we are going to do the point of this lesson. And the point of this lesson is that my choices are an example to others. Can you say it with me? Can you say it with me? My, my choices, choices are, are an example, example to, to others. others. <laughs> exactly, and in our memory verse, we learned that you can be an example to others no matter how old or how young you are. Exactly. Let's say it all together. Are you ready? 1 Timothy 4, 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but be an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. So kids, remember to shine your light always big and bright and be a good example just like Jesus was. He was the perfect example and we get to follow him. Okay, so parents, you guys can click the link below for some cool activities yes, for fun. you guys to do with your kids during the week. Bye, see you, we'll next, see you next week. week.